What's going on guys? Hayden here from Square Body Syndicate to show you guys how to install one of our steering cones. As you can see I undid those two bolts right over the column to pull it out of the firewall. You guys can undo that flange as well if that's the way you want to go about it. Here's a photo of the cab of the truck with the column out of it and everything dismantled. This is your starting point for installing your new column. Here's the wiring diagram that comes with the column. Depending on what wiring is in your truck, you use different adapters that come in the kit accordingly to mate up with the digital column. Factory plugs are easy to deep in and reinstall into the new connectors. The next photo here is what comes in the kit and the relays that the column uses. As we start here, this is where I modify the factory harness by installing new plugs onto the existing connectors. Um, in this truck, someone had already been in there and messed with the wiring, so you'll see me do a bit of repairs here um, before I get ready to wire in the relays for the column. As you can see, the instructions in this kit are really useful and I kept them with me the entire time I was working on this truck. I strongly recommend if you do have to do some repairs like I did to use heat shrink and all the proper materials to do so. It'll just be better in the long run. As you can see from this camera angle, I have the heating vent taken out of it and the uh, bottom portion of the dash there, which you'll have to remove to get your old column out. As you can see here, this is where I uh, grab the adapters and relays from the kit um, to go with the plugs that I've now made functional on the factory wiring. I'm just plugging in the adapters here and the relays themselves. Soon I'll be looking under the dash for a place where I'd like to tuck up the relays. I decided to put the relays up on top of the pedal box itself. It's out of the way and doesn't interfere with anything else under the dash there. Here you can see me mounting the relays under the dash. I found a factory ground block that I was able to use as well, which made it extra clean. Here is a close-up of what your wiring should look like once you put the adapters on from the column. Here's me now taking the bracket off the old column in order to install it on the new.
here's the new column slid into place for the first time, I do recommend wrapping it in masking tape in order to not scratch it. Now here's the part where you do the reverse of when you took your old column out. You do have some extra adjustment on the two bolts underneath the dash there, so you should be able to get over that two inch mark. As you can see here, I'm plugging in the plugs for the neutral safety switch and the turn signals, which we haven't modified, as well as dealing with the wiring that came with the column itself. One thing worth mentioning is our columns will work on later model trucks. If you have wipers and high beams on the column, you just have to buy the column and then relocate your high beam switch to the floor and your wiper switch to the dash like the earlier trucks in the 70s. Now it's time to hook up the shifter. The I did it column shift arm unbolts to make it easy to go through the firewall. As you can see, once I have all the four bolts tight for the shifter arm, I can put the steering shaft on. Next is to deal with the bushing for the shifter linkage. As we all know, sometimes a bit of persuasion might be needed. As you can see here, I'm installing the shifter linkage. I opted to use the factory rubber bushing with the metal sleeve versus the hard plastic that comes with the Iditic column. Both work perfectly fine. After buttoning up the interior, here's the finished product. Doesn't that hickey wheel look awesome? Alright guys, that's it for the column install video. Make sure you do everything that every other YouTuber tells you to and keep our page popular. We already have a plan to do our gauge install, but let us know in the comments if there's any other types of videos you'd like to see on the page. Thanks for watching.